Welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to be discussed about the bit set class in Java data structure. The bit set class creates a special type of array that holds the bit values. The bit set array can increase in the size as needed. This makes it similar to the vector of the bits. This is a legacy class but it has been completely re-engineered in Java 2 and the version of 1.4. The bit set class uh, defined with two constructor. One is the bit set and another one is bit set and int size. So first one is this the constructor create a default object so this constructor create the default object and then bit so it's a bit set in int size means this constructor allows you to specify it initial size for example the number of the bit that it is can hold all the bits are initialized by zero so here I just create an example of the bit set in Java. So here I just import a library which is java.util and then bit set. Here we have the class name which is bit set and then public static void min and now I just write bit set which is the bits 1 is equal to new bit set so the object to my bit set is bits 1 now I just create one another object bit set and then bits 2 O is equal to new bit set and the value of this object is also 16. Now we have the two objects which is bits 1 and bits 2. Now I just set some bits here. So for statement uh, for loop and then for i int i is equal to 0. i is less than 16 and i plus plus so yes now here I just write if I percentage sign of and then 2 v is equal to 0 and here the bracket now I just set the bits 1 and set which is the value of i now if i percentage sign 5 which is equal which is not equal to which is not equal to 0 so here bits dot set and then i so it's uh, not equal to yes. So bits two dot set here. Now I just write print statement and print line which is initial pattern in bits one and then System dot out dot print line and the print line here is bytes one. System dot out dot print line slash n for the single line break and initial pattern in by two. So I just printing the sum of the bits here. So that's why I'm just using these print statement. 
and print dot and then I just write bytes to okay first I just print my this is statement initial pattern in bit one and then I just print my this bit means the object to this bit and then bit two now I just print the end bits and here I just write bytes two dot and and here I just write bit one and then system dot out sorry it's a uh, system dot out dot print line and the print line here is slash n and bits two and bits one now system dot out dot print line and the print line here is bytes two now I just print the bits with R so bits two dot I just choose R and then bit one now system dot out dot print line and the print line here is slash n slash n and then bytes two or bytes one and then system dot out dot print line and the print line here is bits so it's a bits two I just call the bit two here now bit with XR operator so I just use the bit with XR so bit two dot XR and set the bit one system dot out dot print line and the print line here is slash n and bits two x or and bits one so now here system dot out dot print line and the print line here is bit two now we just check the output for all these printed bits so I just run this code and then you can see our initial pattern bit 1 is 0 1 2 sorry 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 and 14 so it just modulus of 2 here you can see here it's print only the modulus of 2 then initial bit of the pattern in bit number two so it is a modulus of five and then one two three four six seven eight nine eleven two twelve thirteen and fourteen then we just print our bits with and operators so it's two four six eight twelve fourteen and bit two with our operator of bit ones which is 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 and the 14 and we have no x or bits here with the bits number 2 with x or operators are empty here now we just see one another example with our bits using the constructor so here new and then the class which is the name of bit with constructor okay so now here I just import a library which is java dot util and then the class name which is beacon so here I just create a constructors of the bit class. So
so first I just create public static void main and then a string arguments and then I just write the constructor of the class which are bit fat bs1 object which is equal to new bit set and then the no value here and then bit set which is bs2 which is equal to new and then bit set which is I just write 16 not instead of 6 yes now bs1 dot set 0 so here I just set the bit class method so now bit1 dot set which is 1 bs one dot set which is two bs one dot set which is four then now i just assign the values to the bit number two so bs two dot set which is four and then bs two dot set which is six bs two dot set which is 5 bs2 dot set which is 1 and bs2 dot set which is 2 here and at the last bs2 dot set which is 3 now I just print these two bits so system dot out dot print line and the print line here is bs1 and then i just concatenate bs1 then system dot out dot print line and the print line here is bs2 and then concatenate bs2 here now i just run this code so you can see it's not give us the desired output so i just run it again we are not getting a right output for that because i am just use main so i just missed n with the main and now i just run this code so bs1 which is 0 1 2 3 4 so these are the bits value of our bit number one and these are the bit values for our bit number two which are one two three four five and six one two three four five six in the sequence so here i there are some important points for the bit set so the size of the array is flexible in the bit set and it can grow to accommodate additional bit as needed then as it is an array means a bit set is an array the index is zero based means this bit set uh, index is zero based and the bit value can be accessed only by non-negative integer as an indexed then we just see the default value of the bit set is boolean means the false with the representations of zero means off the calling calling the clear method make the bit value set to the false and then bit uses about one bit per boolean value and to access a specific value in the bit set the get method is used with an integer argument as an indexed here so this is a uh, examples of the bit set in java Thanks for watching this lecture. See you in next lecture.